Great to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami, coming up on the program. It's a two-in-one show by these creatives in Lagos, from a storytelling session to a group exhibition. Then we have another group show by African artists who reveal how art connects in the continent. We see that and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Please stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is by Favor Chigbo, titled Mechatronic Engineer, and the artwork is by Chimela Chelua. I'm an engineer, not just any engineer, a mechatronic engineer. I don't just bear it as a title, I embody it and consider it vital. And this now is my identity. An entity identified by digital multimeters, soldering irons and wire cutters. This is my individuality. We go through pain, putting our minds and hands to work, using the lath machine to do the metal work. Individually or as a team, we work to someday develop and build mechanical slash electrical products that will better make our world work. Yes, we operate machines that could kill but this is how we pay our bills. I'm an engineer, not just any engineer, a mechatronic engineer, wired to pioneer. For several days, the Lagos audience enjoyed an evening of tales and cocktails through storytelling. Then later, it's off to Kokopelli Gallery to see a parable of the collector, an art salon. There was once a king, and he had a beautiful daughter. The room is full of people, anxious to listen to the narratives in tale and cocktails, an evening of storytelling, one-of-a-kind ceremony featuring author and poet Tolu Akiemi, who goes by his alias, Po Tolu, a firm believer in the power of stories. So once upon a time, there was this uh, man who he needed a large pot. So he went to his neighbor and told his neighbor, neighbor, uh, please, I want you to lend me the biggest pot you have. And the neighbor was like, what do you need a big pot for? He said, um, I'm, I'm having a party and I need the biggest pot I could find. So the neighbor was like, um, okay, I'll lend you my big pot. So he lends this guy his biggest pot. And the guy went away with the pot and two days later, he came back with the pot and said, Thank you, neighbor. I'm done with the pot. My, fan, my party was great. Here is the pot you lent uh, me. And um, the neighbor was like, oh, thank you for returning the pot. And then he was like, there's something inside the pot. And he was like, oh, yeah. By the way, when your pot was in my house, I had no idea that your pot was pregnant. So this little pan is the baby that your pot gave birth to when it was in my house. So I've returned the big pots and a small pan. So the neighbor was like, ah, you are so funny. Ah, anyway, thank you. <laughs> so he collected the big pots and the small pan and uh, kept it. And then a uh, few weeks later, this guy needed to host another party. So of course, he went to his neighbor with the big pots uh, to borrow the big pot again. And a few days later, the neighbor was like, dude, won't you return my pots? <laughs> it's been a few days after your party was over. And the guy was like, ah, oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't tell you. He's like, what happened? See, that pot, while it was in my house, it was sick and it died. In fact, I've buried your pots. And yeah, it's so unfortunate. And dude was like, what do you mean? How can a pot die? <laughs> I said, oh, so you can believe a pot can give birth to a baby. Well, you can't believe that a pot can die.
Then someday Adese walks up to her father and says, I finally made up my mind to marry. But the man I'm going to marry is going to bring me an elephant. Okay? The elephant is you know, the biggest animal in the animal kingdom. He said, I want an elephant. Anybody that's going to bring an elephant to me, that I'm going to marry that man. Now, the tortoise had, had this, you know, <laughs> this thing from the, from the princess. Oh, elephant, is this what elephant you want? I'll give you elephant. The tortoise now went to the elephant, you know? Oh, elephant, my brother, how are you doing? You know, elephant is, you know, this kind of people that is, uh, what are these people that don't use the internet, that don't, <laughs> that don't follow updates? That is why it's important to read the news, to know what's happening. <laughs> so that you know when the princess says they want your head, you know? <laughs> All right, so. The tortoise went to the elephant. How far, my guy? Uh, something purple, something soft. Uh, what is soft? Say, our king is throwing a ceremony, oh, big ceremony, and that you know they want to make you the chairman of the ceremony. The father is like, ah, uh-uh. this one is like, you want to make me chairman of the for what now? I said, don't worry, that you know what have gone. We know people that know people. They say you are, you know, know how big you are. Come and be the chairman of the ceremony. And the uh, elephant was happy, you know. He was dancing, ha, ah, I'm going to be the chairman of the ceremony at the palace, you know. He was very happy. He had a rope, and he told the elephant, please, oh, uh, you know, I'm very, very slow, and I cannot walk, you know, as fast as you. So for us to get there on time, please, let me just put this rope over your neck, yeah, and use it to climb, you know, and just, you know, stay so that you can carry me, so that we can just get there on time, so that you can be the chairman of the show. The elephant said, Whatever you are doing, do fast, fast. Let's go, do, 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 do. The tortoise now threw the rope and climbed the elephant. <laughs> so the, the tortoise was now heading to the palace, okay? So while he was close, he started singing. Remember, you people are going to go, 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 go. And then, you know, you're going to clap a bit, eh? My brother, I will need you to just go, go, go. Hmm? So that's what we are going to do as I start this talk. Are we ready now? Okay. Na meza pata meni. Na meza pata meni. Thank you. One be. Isini pato nye. One be. Isini pato nye. Alright, let's stop here. Let me interpret. Na meza pata meni means, O oh king, I brought an elephant. O oh king, I brought an elephant. And that was how the tortoise led the elephant, tricked the elephant, went to the palace, and took the rope, and gave uh, the king. Before, when he woke up, the king was like, ah, he actually pulled it off. And before the elephant knew what was happening, the, the rope that the, the tortoise trickishly you know, hung over his neck was in the hands of the king and the princess. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how my guy, Mbe, tortoise, was able to marry the princess. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the tortoise. You know easy, all right? Aha! To arouse the audience's interest in tales, there's a twist to get them involved in the exercise. Can they give me one, two lessons from this story? It cut you! I learned something from the story. There are things that you don't want, but you have to take it. <laughs> While growing up, a lot of us had this advantage over the kids that are raising today. You know, they tell us stories. I remember my grandmother, whenever she comes around to stay with us, she was always telling me stories. And those things, you know, first of all, they made me love reading books, and also they helped my imagination. I remember. Okay, there's this thing she used to do a lot, which I feel is a form of storytelling. She eulogizes me a lot. You know, anytime we're alone, she... And those things helped my, you know, imagination before I became an artist, painting and all of those things. And that has become my, one of my major source of inspiration. Stories, personal stories. I also love, I mean, I love fictions too, fictional stories. Well, anything, you know, that you can imagine. Even stories of, you know, things that happen in your dream. <laughs> you know, you can actually, if, who, who, who is also like that? Like, if you remember what you experienced in the dream, it kind of makes you feel good. You know, it's not all the time nightmare, nightmare, but sometimes you have very 
awesome stories to tell from the dreams. As for the images featured in the Parable of the Collector, it's continuing with the storytelling tradition, but this time it's the artists who are giving the narrative through their intriguing works of art rendered in different media. The, the theme was inspired by the parable of the tax collector in the Bible where the two of them, the tax collector and the Pharisee went to the temple to pray and uh, you know the other guy the Pharisee was boasting was boasting about his works he pays diet he helps the poor and he was self-righteous while the other person the tax collector acknowledging himself <clears throat> and his uh, weakness was able to ask for mercy saying oh I'm not perfect this is who I am so the the moral of the story was to um, not exalt yourself. The body of work we have here uh, being exhibited are you know, stories that point in that direction, like, okay, who, who are you? How are you acknowledging who you are? And um, um, what's your impression? You know, what impression of you do people have? saying with the work is that uh, everyone has something to offer. Everyone has a value to market. And in th at this point in time in Nigeria, looking at the challenges all around us and uh, the spate of uh, immigration and relocation, uh, for some of us that are still here, uh, if you look around, there's something you can do. Uh, there's a value you can offer. If you look at the painting very well, there's the woman selling is right there in the dark. You can't see the woman, but she's there, not seen. But however, what it means is that uh, as long as you have a value to offer, people will look for you. There'll be an exchange for it. It's a piece that is reflecting, you know, the state of our mind. You know, when we look into the mirror, sometimes we see something very different from what we, you know, what people perceive or what we even perceive ourselves. And um, Gregory Inka is trying to tell the story of someone who has not found himself yet, you know, because the, the impression people have, what they tell him, is different from what he thought he was. So. It's a, it's a mix, like he's confused of who he is and um, you know, it's, it's just also a body of work that it's in line with the, uh, you know, the power of the collector, knowing who you are and acknowledging it. of these artistic experiences has left an impact in the minds of the visitors. Today was actually really interesting. It was a different experience because, you know, most times when you come for gallery shows, it's just um, stories about the paintings, but it was more about people's lives, people's experiences, and yeah. Tales and Cocktails, an evening of storytelling and a parable of the collector, is a performance and exhibition at the Coco Pelli Gallery in Lagos. Double delight for the viewers, nice. And we're taking a moment now when Art House returns, we have your works of art, then a group exhibition. Join us again. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. 
let's begin with this one done by Babatunde. He calls it Bata Drama. It's rendered in acrylic on canvas. Then Caricature is a work by Mukta Yusuf, a digital art painting. It's a digital art painting as well by Uluwa Bamishi. While the Girl Child is a work done by Eyitayo Alagbe in mixed media. Then this ballpoint pen on paperwork is done by Ola Olajiri. It's called Self-Attraction. Our Daily Bread is an oil on canvas piece by Samson. Adam Emanuel has this sculptural piece done with mild steel. It's called Udu. Then this geometric art called self-aggrandizement is done by Will's art with different pens on paper. Ireti is done by Mark Duke with oil on canvas. While today we sit at home is an oil on canvas work as well by Elijah Gottfried. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We always appreciate you for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming. Being a woman writer, I will be deceiving myself if I said I write completely through the eye of a man. There's nothing bad in it, but that does not make me a feminist writer. The first episode of Art Connect Africa features an array of fine arts and craft by a group of creatives within the continent at this exhibition space in Lagos. Praise singers, Pacific Blue One, Planters and Vases, Calabash Lamp, Afterbath, At the River Two, are just part of the 120 pieces done by an array of artists and craftsmen at the maiden edition of Art Connect Africa at Ablesworth Poetry in Lagos. This exhibition, we're telling the public that we're trying to let the public know that um, African artists, African crafters have so much to offer. Um, this is a platform where people can come see the works of different um, African artists. They can come see, you know, you see the ingenuity of it, you see um, the, the endlessness of the creativity of Nigerian artists. here we are very much interested in turning as many Nigerians as possible into potters so we do pottery classes and teach them how to make their own uh, pottery right and then the second thing we do is we make uh, professional pottery so we make functional things that people want things like bowls cups plates um, sometimes we make them for shops, sometimes we make them for restaurants and you know we're just really trying to spread the influence of pottery because we've noticed that a lot of times there are so many different pottery products that are in the market but none of them is usually from Nigeria so we want to prove that it can be done here so that is the second thing that we do and then the third thing that we do is we make planters right so we make planters we start off a lot of times with clay and then we also um, for for the planters that sometimes people want planters that are not breakable so we um, apply we use fiberglass as the finishing product so we end up with fiberglass as well mm -hmm. 
Beyond the many arts and crafts being showcased in this exhibition, it also reveals the work process of some crafts. For instance, there's a live pottery making session. If you give the clay um, a chance to move on its own, you are not going to achieve anything. So working on the clay is like you directing the clay, telling the clay what you want to do. The pressure you apply on the clay is just like sending the clay a message. Hey, you stay here, the clay stays. You move here, the clay moves. So if you are not applying the pressure on the clay in the proper way, it continues to downgrade. So when you come up, you have to bring it down to center. So while we center, we use the clay to move on um, an even direction with the way it. You know, the way the Potter's way spins in a circular um, way, so you need an even um, movement. If the clay is not properly centered and you are working on the wood, you end up um, destroying your work and the wall of your work will not be given. The idea is to promote the exhibition of decorative arts alongside fine arts and to give opportunity to the artists to exhibit their works to the audience. For the curator, Ifai Chuku or Emeka, the art pieces exhibited, like life, are both simple and complicated capturing a variety of forms, shapes, sizes, material, pattern, and connections. Kauri signifies wealth for me as an African. So and it used to be like a legal tender. So I am, you know, I use Kauris to do some decor, some body decor. I also use um, leather, wood to make some body decor. I'm just making pieces, unique pieces that we always in, that will stand the test of time. It's timeless and um, it is both um, African and also contemporary. The three-day exhibition of arts and crafts interprets, explores, and presents the ingenuity on the African continent, which is enormous. Interesting to see the array of creatives within the continent. And there's loads to look forward to, but that will be on the next episode of Art House. Coming up on the next episode of the program, Phases and Faces, an art exhibition at Paces Gallery, Lagos. In another part of the city, we have a preview of the images at the Modern and Contemporary Auction at KO Gallery. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for spending time with us and look forward to interacting with you online on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Stay safe, keep being creative, and enjoy the month of August. <music>